Hi everyone, it's Lauren here from Candlewax and Pixie Dust. Um, it is rather early in the morning, it's uh, quarter to six on Friday. I said I was going to film it throughout the week, but I've just been really busy and this week has been a bit chaotic. Um, today is pretty much going to be the same, this is my last shift before holiday. It's only a short shift, it's about four hours long. Um, and then I'll be headed home, getting a quick shower, picking up Gregor from school, um, the dog's getting a cough spray uh, before going into the kennel. Um, we've got grandparents coming over just to give Gregor early birthday presents before we go. We need to do a bit more packing. Um, we're even going into town for Gregor needs his haircut. I need to colour my hair at some point. Um, I need to colour my hair at some point and get my nails done, meet my mum and sister to get my nails done um, and also need to take a trip to the bank and also get the last of our euros um, so it's going to be a full on day which is quite good um, full on days mean that uh, the day kind of goes quicker um, and you're not just sat there twiddling your thumbs thinking, oh my god, it's only so many days till we go. Um, so I will try and film as much as I can today. Um, so yeah, that's me just about to head into work. <laughs> it's far too early. Um, and I will catch you once I finish my shift. <sighs> so that's me just finished work. Um, I was there half an hour longer than I thought I would be um, a, a complete state and one reason is because um, I'm about to dye my hair hopefully before I pick up my little boy so let's go off to Asda and get some hair dye and get on my hair and washed out hopefully before I have to pick my little boy up um, so that's where we're going next So it's actually Saturday and uh, just about, what well, must be about three o'clock and we're just taking the dog a walk. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it's windy. Yeah. Um, this is my first time vlogging or vlogging outside, Mommy. quite terrifying. Um, yesterday after, Mommy. come on, after uh, doing my hair, we, my husband picked up um, the dog, no, he took the dog to the vet to get a kennel cough spray and then he then picked up Gregor from school. Um, then my mum came round with an early birthday present for him. Early birthday present for him, which was quite nice. Come on, Lilo. Um, then what did we do? And then we went into town and... Uh, I went to meet my mum and got my nails done, so they're like, well, this is really hard vlogging with a child and a dog on a lead, but let's give it a go anyway. Right, Gregor, come on, stay on the path. Um, well, I'll show you my nails uh, later because it's rather hard. Come on, leave. Doing all three things at once. Um... And then my husband got Gregor's haircut, then I got some more euros, went and told the bank that, um, no you don't need the toilet, you're being silly, um, told the bank that we were going to be in France if I happened to use my card, yeah we're going this way, um, and recommendation, if you are, um, if you are uh, getting euros, Ramsden's is a really good place, but check online at the rate, um, because the rate online tends to be better than in store. And just say to them, "Oh, I've noticed the rate online's better," and they'll just give you that rate. 
which is really good. Um, so all our euros are sorted and things. Um, then today, just did a bit of housework, trying to keep on top of washing and things. Um, and my mum came round with his great grandparents' uh, Chris, uh, birthday present and his um, gran and two aunties came over as well with early birthday presents so he's got quite a few euros to spend when we're in Disney and lots of new clothes um, what else? Uh, as well as that, I was just kind of packing uh, yeah, so we're almost ready so I'm going to leave you just now while I finish walking the dog and taking the child for a walk as well and I will speak to you guys in a wee while. Bye! in from our walk um, so hopefully you heard things that I was saying it was a bit mad trying to hold my camera hold the dog and try not let the child fall into the river um, at the same time and dog and child running around like headless chickens um, it was all a bit too much for me um, but hopefully you heard what I got to yesterday and um, not really been up to much today um, my husband's watching the rugby so we quickly nipped to Tesco uh, to get something for dinner because I've been trying to because we're like away for like, almost a week. Um, I've been like cutting down all the stuff that's in the fridge so there's not going to be like very much there. So there's very little in our fridge. Um, so normally when I cook, um, I don't tend to buy like pre-cut stuff. I you know I buy like proper veg that's not pre-washed and cut and things. I thought sod it, um, <laughs> holiday kind of started today, um, I'm on holiday for like two weeks so I thought oh sod it let's um, just cheat a little tonight um, and again because I wanted to use up a few things that's in the fridge and um, basically do kind of like a takeaway without actually having takeaway uh, this, this is good enough for me. So um, what I've bought is some mixed veg that was reduced but it's still very good so there's carrots, broccoli and some little baby sweet corn in there and I think there's even some runner beans as well and then I've never used these before but what I do um, like uh, crushed potatoes uh, with a meal so I thought I'd go for these um, and I thought I would still have to boil them but on the back of the pack I just have to pierce the bag and then microwave it which is like crazy so um, we'll give that a go uh, and then I just bought some haggis and stuffed it into some fresh chicken breast I don't know if you can see that there um, so uh, there's a spare one um, and then I just got some peppercorn sauce because I couldn't be bothered making it um, that's actually gluten free and it's actually not too bad well it's still bad but not too bad like fat and shit wise it's, it's uh, kind of alright a bit better than some of them and then because I had um, mushrooms left over I'm just gonna cook them off in a bit of garlic I think as well just to use them up so um yeah, that is pretty much yesterday and today so far. Um, oh, my Disney nails, yes, let me show you. So, we've got Mickey's short, which I absolutely love. And then we've got little Mickey's. We've got polka dots. We've got a Mickey. And then we've got a mini ball. I absolutely love the colours that I picked out. Uh, not, not bragging or anything, but... Um, I think they're well bonny. So I can't wait to show Mickey and Minnie them when we're in Disney. Uh, so things that are left to do. 
few more bits to put in our bag and overnight bag. Um, the dog, bless her, she's going to um, the kennels tomorrow morning. I'm starting to get really like a bit like guilty because um, like we knew we were going on this trip but um, on the 4th of September which was our anniversary that's when she popped up on Gumtree and um, the people that had bought her as an eight week old puppy were like selling her um, as she was about 15 weeks old when we got her um, and when I saw her I just oh, I had to have her and we knew that um, this would mean obviously putting her into kennels but we did think we would maybe get away with her staying with um, my husband's mum she's got two other dogs, she's got a Collie and a Westie uh, Lilo, she's a Collie cross Samoid and we thought, you know, they'd be okay and she was fine looking after them. Uh, plus her two daughters still stay with her so, you know, there was three of them there to look after the three dogs. Um, but the Westie, he just does not like her. I don't know what it is, I think he's got like short man syndrome or something, but he just a nasty little bugger to, to her. So um, we've had to put her in the kennels. So she's had her kind of cough spray and things. It was a bit of a well, it's it's our fault, obviously, for buying her, but unexpected um, extra that we've had to. Oh, sorry, where my point used to um, unexpected kind of fork out that we didn't think we were going to have to do. Um, <laughs> it's not as bad as I thought it would be. It's just going to be a hundred and ten pounds for the well, Sunday to Sunday. Um, but that ten pounds could have been euros, but hey ho, it, it is our fault for deciding to get her and things. But um, I just couldn't pass her up, and she's made a great addition, uh, to the family. Um, what else? Why do I keep pointing these up there? I'm so sorry. Um. I will probably do like a second half to this video, and I'll show you what we're packing in the day bags and some bits and bobs that are in our cases for going over to Disney and uh, maybe it'll help you guys if you're going or just kind of um, give you some different ideas for things to do when you're going to, to Disney um, but yeah I can't believe we travel tomorrow like it felt so long this trip I remember coming home from our Halloween trip and thinking oh my god it's over a year till we go. This is just gonna drag. And the first few months did, and then see when we got into like 30 weeks, 20 weeks, and then I started doing that 10 week countdown. It has just flown by, um, which is quite scary. Um, that this year is almost over as well. And, you know, Christmas is around the corner, but I just, like, I'm welling up just thinking about it. I am just so looking forward to seeing Chris, uh, Disney at Christmas again um, and being there with my little boy and my husband um, it's just going to be magical um, you know we've I feel like this is kind of like the topping of the cake um, me and my husband we've been saving like mad uh, we had a rented place then we have finally moved into our own place um, our son, he's come off his epilepsy medication as well this year um, and he has come on leaps and bounds with his speech and things because he was a bit delayed and I just feel like this is finally like something positive well like obviously buying our house and things was positive but it's like the, the well deserved break that I feel like we've, we've needed um, over these last few years and um, there's just so much has been going on and I just finally feel that this is our a, a break this is our uh, look what we've done look what we have achieved for only being 24 um so yeah he, he, me being a soppy bastard but anyway um i have a little one here that's eating some of his halloween sweeties you gonna say hi um so we are no, 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 you've had plenty. So I'm going to cook dinner, pick my husband up from the rugby club, and then I'm going to do some more packing later tonight and a bit of housework. 